Good morning, Ranger Nation. Today we want to discuss mental health and the effects it has on people. Hey Allison, did you know that one in five American adolescents experiences some form of mental illness in a given year? So if you have a mental illness, then know you're not alone. I did not know that. However, I do know that there are many resources to reach out to for support. That's right. We currently have a stand in the main office with mental health pamphlets from amazing researchers such as NAMI and Canvas Health. It's important to know that you aren't alone, especially in trying times like these. This goes for all staff and students. Staff and students throughout the school have put together a special message regarding mental health and we would like to take a moment to share them. Mental health is important because everybody deserves to be happy. I think mental health is important because it's vital to live your life to its fullest. Mental health is important because everyone deals with it, everyone suffers, and it's different for everyone. I think mental health is important because it's how we function on a daily basis and it allows us to deal with stress and any other things that we're dealing with. It helps give you balance between the stressful things in your life and helps you cope with a lot of things between family and school and work and helps you get through it all. Someone might experience mental health in a different way than other people, so it's really important that we talk about it and help people have resources. Bad mental health, it, it just makes your life not as enjoyable. A few mental health tips that I do have would be to reach out to someone that you do trust and take a break whenever you do need it. For me, I play tennis to relieve stress, but exercising, listening to music, or just taking a break from your phone, uh, from homework can always help. Take care of yourselves. Put yourself first and play and dance and take time to just do nothing, just be. Take time, make sure you're getting enough sleep, make sure you're drinking water, and if you need help, you gotta ask. We don't have the ability to read minds, but if you ask, we can help, you gotta ask. And when you need help, ask for it because someone will answer. Don't be afraid to reach out to people. People are always gonna be there for you and you'll always have someone on your side. And yeah, have anything? That's a great answer. Okay. Back you up 100%. You don't know what somebody's going through at home, so treat them with kindness, respect, and know that you aren't alone. The teenage years are hard, objectively. You have a lot of things going on. In a lot of ways, you're expected to be adults, and in some ways, you're ready for that, and in some ways, you're, like, you're trying to figure it out. You are not alone. It may seem like the rest of your classmates are enjoying their young adult lives, but in actuality, people suffer and people are very good at hiding their suffering. So you're never alone. It's all in all just a very emotional time. And plus, you know, like hormones, so. Yeah. <laughs> I think that mental health is a problem in our generation because with our phones, Snapchat, and Instagram, it feels like everything's going at a million miles a minute and it's just hard to take a step back and just like realize what's going on with your life. Oftentimes people don't take the time that they need in order to maintain and improve their mental health. Because it's the stressful time of life. You have to plan what you're gonna be when you grow up. You have to start practicing being independent from your parents and making your own choices instead of having your choices made for you. Having to deal with COVID for two years really put a strain on people, and especially with social media, just constantly bombarding you with expectations. It's normal to feel confused, anxious, worried. It's just not normal to feel all of those things all the time or to be missing joy. I think staff and faculty could definitely just remember that they're the people that some students do look up to. And there's a lot of people that just need somewhere to go relax or sit down for a while. So if you can be that teacher, be that teacher. I think that staff needs to keep in mind that students can burn out super easily and that it's not always easy to meet homework deadlines or be extremely ready for a test the day of and that sometimes people might need a little bit more time to like, just understand material and just take some more time for themselves because not everything can always revolve around school. What can staff do to help with mental health? Something I've tried to do is be a lot more understanding and give some more grace to students and try and be aware of if they're having a tough day, just be in there and just saying simple stuff like, are you okay? Can I do anything for you? And if they say no, that's okay too, but at least hopefully they know that I'm there to help them out if they need it. There are so many people in this building who are really good at listening, who are happy to sit down and talk with you, give advice if that's what you want, or just listen to whatever it is that's going on. I think communication between adults and students, we all need to be better at that because sometimes we don't know if students are struggling and it's not always easy to ask for help. So I want, like personally, I want to get better at getting to know my students and knowing when things are not good. We're very focused on as staff and teachers to teach material 
And I think we all can do better remembering that it's about the people first. And the subject is important, but the people definitely come first. For any students that are struggling with their mental health, or know anyone who is struggling with their mental health, there are a variety of resources that are always available for you. Whether that's a hotline, a text line, or a conversation with a trusted adult or friend, there are resources for you. Remember that your health is so much more important than your pride, but it all begins with a conversation. So take care of yourselves.